today. I want to thank all of you for being here today. Uh, we're glad to have you. To start off, I'm going to pass this bowl around, and I would like all of you to put your phones in it. in the video. Okay, perfect. So today, during this presentation, I would like you to be here with me, not with the friends that aren't here. I'm going to share with you a quick e-card that I found that says, sorry your phone, cell phone battery died, and you actually have to spend time with people that are actually here, um, that are with you. Um, this is often how I feel when I hang out with my friends, even when I'm with my roommates, um, or when I go out and do an activity, we always seem to be on our phones, um, checking our Instagram, updating our Facebook status, uh, making a Vine, um, things like that. Um, what's the point of being together if we aren't together mentally? Um, that's why I had you all put your cell phones in here. How would our lives be different if every time we came into an apartment or hung out with our friends, we put our phones in a bowl? I think our lives would be pretty different. Uh, one thing that we can do to increase uh, and improve our personal relationships with, with those around us is by setting aside video games uh, when we are with other people. Now, I currently live with some uh, friends and they love video games. Now, don't get me wrong, video games are great. Um, I've played them before, I have fun with them myself. Uh, at times, though, I feel like my relationship suffers with my friends or my roommates because um, of their video game habits. Um, like I said, they're not; those things are not bad, but um, we would do uh, well to not play video games as much. Our relationships can improve. I also want to talk about texting. There was a study that BYU did about couples who text together don't stay together. It's interesting how when you text, um, it's a form of communication. So that's good. Um, the problem is, is that you miss out on a lot of vital and important emotions that you can capture um, with person-to-person -person contact. Um, you aren't able to build a relationship as uh, strong when you're texting as if you could do it in person. Um, there are a lot of things that you miss out on. You miss out on physical touch. You miss out on uh, tone of voice. Um, there are many things that uh, this affects. I have a little story for all of you. Um, this past week, um, there was someone that I was texting that I was arranging a date with. And um, we had invited a group over to our apartment to watch a movie. And I was, I just so happened to be texting during the movie. And some of us were talking, and uh, this girl that we had invited over decided to take my phone while I was texting this girl. And I would say that I'm kind of in the, a, a situation where I'm having crucial conversations with this girl. Like, it's not like we're in depth in a relationship, but the thing is, I speak with about her could make or break our future as far as our relationship goes. Well, because I was using my phone in a social setting, uh, the consequence, I feel like, of this situation was that this girl took my phone and texted this girl a bunch of stuff. And it wasn't very good stuff. It wasn't, like, inappropriate. But it definitely didn't make me look good. Um, and so it impacted my relationship, not only with the girl, because I was upset with her, but also because uh, I was nervous about what those messages due to technology would do to my future relationship with this girl. Um, and so texting can definitely have an impact um, on our relationship. Um, this is a photo of some friends and I when I lived um, at the Ridge. Um, and it was um, a tradition of ours to have a game night every Sunday and have dessert. Now, of course, technology was used uh, when we took this photo, um, but most
most of all, we didn't really use technology when we were, when we were together. We played games uh, that were interactive. Um, we didn't uh, use uh, technology. I remember that this photo just captures um, a lot of emotion that we had and a lot of uh, good memories. Uh, our relationships were strengthened because uh, we were interacting with each other. Um, I want to go back to um, video games and texting. I want all of you to kind of think about um, maybe some habits that you guys have in your own lives right now. Um, some things that uh, maybe you use a lot. Um, now, I don't know if, you know, I haven't heard any of these phones go off yet. I haven't heard them vibrate. But I'd like to know how many of you are just kind of itching to just to just check your phone. Um, are you? Yeah? Um, sorry. <laughs> um, but what we're creating right now is an intimate setting, a small setting of all of us, where we can have some sort of communication with each other. I'm able to know, or you're able to know me better, because I have your phone, and I'm keeping you from, you know, being able to communicate with someone else. I'm not sure I want to keep you from communicating, but you know what I mean. Um, 